In this video, I'm going to provide work solutions to the first few tutorial problems from exercise four. In question A, we're given a triangle with one angle indicated as being 60 degrees. One side we're given a length for, and one side is marked X, and it's that value, the length of side X, we're asked to find. Looking at our triangle, the side marked 12 centimetres is opposite the right angle. And that means it's our hypotenuse. We then need to determine which side x is the opposite or the adjacent. And since it's opposite our angle and across from it, this is therefore the opposite. Now in each of these problems, we have our memory technique, so katoa, to guide us to tell us which of our trig ratios we need to use. In this question, since we have identified that we have the hypotenuse and we want to find the opposite, this is going to be so, meaning use sine. So we can write sine 60 degrees, since it's the angle given, is equal to the opposite, and that is the side that is marked at x, divided by the value of the hypotenuse, which is 12. Multiplying both sides by 12, we get 12 sine. 60 degrees is equal to x. And so x we'll find by multiplying 12 by sine 60. Now, if your calculator is set up like mine, you'll get something that says 6 square root 3. That is the correct answer, but more commonly, we'll give our answer in the normal decimal form. I have a button in my calculator that converts this. It's an S double headed arrow pointing to D. And um, if we press that button, it will give us it in decimal form. So the answer I get is 10.392. There's some more numbers that come after. We round it to one decimal place here. So it's 10.4. And our units are important as well. So if H was in centimeters, it means this length is also in centimeters. And that's the answer to question A. And a quick common sense check is your answer should be less than 12. The hypotenuse is the longest side, so any other side we calculate is going to be shorter than 12. Let's now have a look at question B. So in B, the indicated angle is here, it's 25. And again, we can have a look to see what side we've been given in the question. Well, the hypotenuse this time is side H here, because that's opposite the angle. And the side we're looking for is opposite our angle. So H, 14 meters, is opposite the right angle. And X is opposite 25 degrees, the angle we've been given in the question. So once again, this would be an example of using sine. Because it's opposite and hypotenuse, we can write sine of 25 degrees is equal to x, our opposite, divided by 14, our hypotenuse. And the working will look similar for this problem as well. So rearranging in the same way by multiplying by the number divided from the right with 14, we're going to be able to find our value for x. And the answer we get is here is 5.9 meters rounded to one decimal place. Let's move our, our image down a little bit so we can make more space for question C and D. So question C, let's have a look here. In question C, the angle given 31 degrees. Again, our hypotenuse is the side that is opposite the right angle, it's given H. But this time, X isn't opposite. The opposite side is unmarked. X is the other side that's next to our angle of 31. So in this case, it's the adjacent. So it's further up, but if we look back at our memory trick, so or this time we're working with the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And so it's cost cosine that we're going to use this time because we've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So we're going to write cos 
31 degrees is equal to the adjacent, in this case it's x, which we don't know, divided by 18. Multiply both sides by 18 to get x by itself. And then perform our calculation multiplying 18 by cos 31. And the answer we get here is 15.4. And again, being careful to use the correct units because this question is using millimeters. And so that's our answer complete. Finally, we'll look at question D. In question D, we've been given an angle of 45.5 degrees. The side opposite our right angle is, again, the hypotenuse here. And like question C, X is the side that's all crew next to the angle we're looking at. So it's the adjacent. This is another example of a cosine problem. So the direct cost of 45.5 degrees is equal to X over 9.3. Multiply both sides by 9.3. and perform that calculation on our calculators to get the required answer. And that comes to 6.5 to one decimal place, and our units, in this case, are centimetres, so we would write that event of our question into the correct units. This is the first four questions. There's seven more on this sheet to try. There will definitely be some where we use tan, and there'll be others where we're calculating the hypotenuse when we've been given one of the other two sides. So that's something to try. The answers have been provided already, so you have to check your progress. And if you are finding that you can't find one of the answers, make sure to ask about that in class.